Hello guys, I just uh, realized one more thing about the sub view and I just thought I'd make a video since I've been using this program Clip Studio Paint for so long and I've used the sub view for so long and I just realized this one nice nifty feature today after like years of drawing and that's stupid. So maybe one of you out there didn't notice this and now I can show you and you don't have to spend like years before you find out. That would be nice. So. If you don't know about Subview, this is this little thing over here, which allows you to basically load in uh, pictures uh, to reference. I can load in, I have like, uh, let's see here, I have uh, my characters, so I want to do some coloring. I can load in my one of the crew here. I'll just dug it again, just a second. And it basically works like another clip studio window I can zoom in and out I can uh, pan around and I have this little thing in the down in the corner selected so I u automatically sample colors whenever I click and that's super handy so say I wanna you know start start painting in this uh, old dude let me find him here's like he's here somewhere so I can you know oh let me get the right brush two seconds so I can start you know coloring in or maybe I even have it set up yeah you know like this and that's great and the other guy has like a slightly different color the little guy so this is just like a giant lifesaver and especially for coloring and for like referencing colors and uh, you know whatever looks you have in uh, for this look like a like a big uh, a comic I'm working on but say I I don't want to make like a so yeah so this I've been using this for for years now but say I want uh, I have more files I have these three this is like the crew of this like uh, space oh no like an airship I have up, up here but I also have my my main character who's this guy or he's one of the main characters this this two this those two uh, and I don't have them, them in the same uh, reference file, but I can open, uh, like I have it, this other reference file, which is I've been using a lot for these guys, so here, here they are. You know, for colors again, I can I can pick and sample. But that's fine, you know, it's all well and good, but now I say I want to go back to these guys down here. So this is what I've been doing. I've been opening the file, opening the other file, going back and forth, and uh, generally it's fine, but I just noticed today <laughs> these two arrows here and that's like it feels so stupid but this is just like previous and next image and there you are what yeah I, I guess I don't have to say any more than just like uh, you know knock yourself out with some colors and uh, you, I guess you I think I had like uh, 20 or so pictures loaded in here because I've just been loading and loading and loading pictures and never knew that I just loaded out, I don't know how many. I think actually Clip Studio started uh, opening a little bit quicker after I removed all those old reference photos. So now you also know if you didn't already. Yeah, man, what, what a program. Have a great drawing day and uh, see you if I get another Eureka moment some other time and feel like doing a tutorial. Bye bye.